Okay, uh, 18. We've got a graph like this. And this is molarity versus seconds, or, or concentration versus time. We've got A, C, and B. We've got 2A plus C goes to 2B. Okay, at what time does the reaction just reach equilibrium? Well, it's the time at which these level off. And on the graph here, that's about 20 seconds. So when it levels off, that's equilibrium. Could you just guess the that is? Yeah, I think we would have accepted anything close to 20, but 20 seems the most obvious because it's the only number close to it. Yeah. Uh, at time equals zero, determine Q. Time equals zero. Q is the concentration of B initial squared over A initial squared times C <coughs> initial. Well, you just take the values right off the graph. And so in this case, uh, let's see. B initial is 0.6. A initial is 0.2. And C initial is 0.1. So it's right off the graph and you just plug it in. The answer ends up being 90. What happens? No? Okay. The reaction shifts in what direction to reach equilibrium? So uh, Q equals 90. Oh, I, I guess I don't even tell you. Yeah, I don't tell you what K is. So which way is this shifting? Left. How do you know that? What's that? Yeah. The the products, there's more, it just decreases. So you're losing products. You're totally right. So it's going to shift to the left. Uh, the question was, which way does it shift? Yeah. I don't have K. But you just look at the graph. Products are decreasing. Well, if there's less products, it must be shifting to the left. Could you like roughly calculate K by looking at the values of the Oh, you could have done that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I would have accepted that. Well. The answer is either right or left, so yeah, yeah. You could have put numbers there, it would have been irrelevant for me. All right, is QC the same numerical value for all points in time? What do you think? Does Q change? For any point in time? Yeah, it will be always be different until you get to this point, and then it'll always be the same after that. But it's not the same, so the answer is no, it's not the same for all points in time. Uh, is KC the same numerical value for all points in time? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, K does not change. So, yes, it will be the same, no matter where you are on the graph. Is KC less or greater than 1? Hmm. Oh, what do you think? Less. Well, how do you know that? You're right. I guessed What did you say? That was me. Oh, okay, those, those people have to own it. Well, B is smaller than both of these values. So just by looking at it, you would think it's less than yeah. 1. You could do the estimation if you wanted, but I think you could just look at it, it'd be easier. Where did you get the equation for part B? That. This crazy yeah. equation right here? It's the products over the reactants. Okay, so it's just K. You know, it's Q. It's Q. K is another one. Q is with initial values here. K is the equilibrium values here. That's the difference.